today let's have some fun and we're going to tear apart this disk drive. It's not woodworking, but the magnets in here are very useful. You can do some fun things with it and uh, it's one way of making sure your data is secure on an old hard drive by destroying it. Most drives that I've come across all have Torx screws holding them. So you're going to need Torx bits and they're small. Fortunately, I've got this set that I picked up from Lee Valley a little while ago which has all kinds of different security bits and the all-important Torx bit. So there you go, except you don't. The hard drive manufacturers are kind of sneaky. You have to feel around on the sticker. Oh. I think I missed one. Yes, I did. There we go. If you've never been inside one, these are the magnets that we're interested in. There's your disc platter. It is almost always polished to a very, very high mirror finish. You can use that as a mirror if you like. This is the read-write head. Floats microscopic distance over the hard drive. The magnets are what move the read-write head back and forth. Top magnet is loose. There's a little metal plate and a magnet. And here's how strong it is. So here are the magnets. They're both the same. However, this one has these legs on it. This one is quite nice. It's got some holes. You could mount that to something. Or you can even use it as is. Kind of as a fun proof of concept. I just made this. Took one of the same magnets screwed it to a piece of oak, put a bit of a peg in it, and that can now be the world's most powerful fridge magnet. Here's one, this one's it's kind of large. This one's much smaller, a piece of cherry. This was made out of one of these sort of magnets. Took the hacksaw, cut off the bits that were sticking up, excavated a bit of the wood and buried it in epoxy.